Can I come visit you, person? Whoever you are, unless you're a bad person. Hmm. He was acting a little strange. At Is some point, doesn't it stop being a snowflake and becomes a really nice looking chunk of ice that fell yeah. from the sky? So today we are going to be checking out a video called 50. <laughs> Very carefully and so suddenly check 50 fascinating facts about the USA that you never knew. And it's on a channel called World According to Briggs, which I've never seen before. How is the world according to you, Mr. Briggs or Miss Briggs or Master Briggs or Lady Briggs or I enjoy learning and growing and educating myself in a way that I feel like school never did. I learned lots of things in school, don't get me wrong, but my passion for learning certainly came independently. And I strongly believe that the school system should change to accommodate different types of learner. Let me know below in comments if you agree. Some people are visual learners. Some people are listening to learners. Some people need to see stuff. That's the same as visual. Anyway, if you like me and stuff and things, go check out patreon.com slash Jennings and or channel membership. You'll see more videos from me and my little furry dog who was here, but now he's there. You can't see him now. I wonder, are these actually gonna be things I don't know? Because it says you never knew. And sometimes we all clickbait, you know? A little clickbait never hurt anyone. Well, don't quote me on that, maybe it did. Today we are looking at 50 strange and or little known facts about the United States. Now, Ooh, before we get into this, I got a side note for you. There are some extra strange things that have gone on in this country that I had to take out. Yeah, I went down a long and twisted Google rabbit hole researching this video. There was a total about 20 things that ended up on the editing room floor, so to speak, that definitely would have gotten me demonetized. Today's video is kind of fun. Some of these things you might know, but I'm sure most of them you don't. But I guarantee you're going to find quite a few that are really interesting. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's Great take graphics. a look. Number one, the state of Alaska is big. As a matter of fact, it is so large that it can hold the entire state of Texas inside it twice. Number two, there's a town in Pennsylvania called Intercourse. Number three, the world's largest frying pan is in Rose Hill, North Carolina, and they actually use it to cook with occasionally. It's not just some fiberglass frying pan they put up for decorations. Huh. Number four, the first American flag was sewn by Betsy Ross, who was only that. paid a dollar and 25 cents for her work. And even by today's that. standards, it wasn't much. In today's money, she got paid $34. Number five, Wyoming was the first state to give women the right to vote. It was in 1869. Number six, there's a town in Arizona called Nothing. Number seven, the tallest mountain in the United States is Denali. It's actually the highest mountain peak in North America with a summit elevation of 20,310 feet above sea level. If you look at base to peak because it's the land that it's on is above sea level, it's about 18,000 feet. Number eight, there's a giant ball of twine in Cocker City, Kansas. It weighs over 17,000 pounds. Like most of you, my first thought was, why? I mean, isn't that a big thing that happens though in America? Like small towns create, like, I don't know if that's a small town, but towns create like biggest, like random things or smallest random things just to get people to like come visit the towns. Like that was a Route 66 thing, right? So not crazy surprising. Number nine, the United States is the only country to have landed humans on the moon. Number 10, the state of Montana has three times as many cows as it does people. Number 11, the shortest river in the world is the Roe River in Montana. It's only 201 feet long. Number 12, the Statue of Liberty was a gift from France that arrived in New York City in 1885. Here's the strange thing. It showed up in the United States in 214 crates. Putting it together was gonna cost a lot of money, New York City didn't have. There was at least five other major cities that wanted it that had the money to put it up. New York City was about to lose it. So it sat in crates on Bedloe Island. Giant newspaper man Joseph Pulitzer started a funds raising campaign that got the money to put Lady Liberty up to where she is to this day. In 1956, yeah. Congress renamed Bedloe Island to Liberty Island. 13, there's a town in Nebraska called Monowai and it only has one person. Yes, it's a real town. It's incorporated. Number 14. What? Can I come visit you, person? Whoever you are. Unless you're a bad person. Maybe you are. I want to go there. I feel like I'd get there and then I'd be like, there's nothing to do here and be surprised. The United States has the largest number of billionaires in the world. 
Number 15, the highest temperature ever recorded in the United States was 134 degrees Fahrenheit. That's in California's Death Valley, and it was in 1913. Number 16, the longest suspension bridge in the United States is the Verrazano Narrows Bridge in New York City, which spans over 13,000 feet. It Whoa. connects Brooklyn with Staten Island. I was going to do one of my little things where I like to give you the wrong answer, like I was going to say it connects Staten Island to Queens, but New Yorkers lose it if you make that mistake. Even if I say I'm kidding afterwards, they still won't recover. All right. 17, the United States has the largest prison population in the world. 18. The first McDonald's restaurant was opened in San Bernardino, California in 1940. It was just a movie. single place. It wasn't until 1955 when businessman Ray Kroc got involved and started it on the path to what it is today. 19. The state of Maine has the largest toothpick manufacturing plant in the world. Like sleep tonight. Number 20. The world's largest diamond was found in a South African mine and was later cut and polished in New York City. 21, the United States has the largest economy in the world. 22, the first successful powered airplane flight was made by the Wright brothers in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina in 1903. The strange thing is, it wasn't at Kitty Hawk. It was south of Kitty Hawk at a place called Kill Devil Hills. And the other strange thing, most people think it was just a glider. No, it had a motor. 23, the largest ball of paint in the world is in Alexandria, Indiana. You know why? Because that's where it should be. 24, the Grand Canyon was formed over millions of years by the Colorado River. Yes, millions of years. 25, the first public library in the United States was opened in Boston in 1854. 26, the first successful heart transplant was performed in the United States in 1967. I didn't know it was that far back. I thought for sure it was going to be in the 1980s. Me too. 27, the state of California has more residents than the entire country of Canada. They have more maple syrup, though, than California. 28. There's a town in Iowa called What Cheer. And it's a fitting name because this place, there's no cheer going on here. It's nothing but boarded up buildings. 29. The United States consumes more chocolate per capita than any other country. 30. Uh -huh. The highest waterfall in the Great. United States is Yosemite Falls in California. It drops 2,400 feet. 31. The longest escalator in the Western Hemisphere is in the Wheaton Metro Station in Maryland. Number 32, the United States is home to more serial killers than any other nation. Like, way more. Way more. I don't know if it's something in our water or what's going on, but we always seem to have a new serial killer every couple of years. I mean, we have some that are working all the time, working. That sounds great. But yeah, it just always seems like every handful of years, we get some new serial killer that's been at it for like 10 years. Yeah, I think I think maybe it has to do with the fact that because you are like one body of land, it's easier to make a body disappear. And I also feel like because there are so many people and like so many different states with different laws, it's easier to like go undetected. Whereas say you killed somebody in Ireland and it has happened. We did have a serial killer at the Vanishing Triangle. Good story for another day. But it's a lot harder to be like, nobody will be walking here or, you know, like there's less place to put a body because people are around because it's a smaller place. And everybody knows everybody. So like 25 people going, hmm, he was acting a little strange. Whereas in America, I think there are more lonely people, maybe. Like, you could definitely live a life in America without talking to somebody for, like, weeks. Nobody would notice. I guess that could happen anywhere. 33. The first U.S. capital was New York City. 34. The United States has the world's largest military budget. It's over $800 billion right now. Who's Next in line that? is China, and they estimate theirs is about $250 billion. And India's after them, and they have less than $100 billion. 35. There's a town in Oregon called Boring. 36. The United States has more tornadoes than any country in the world yes. every single year. 37. The highest capital city in the United States is Santa Fe, New Mexico, at an elevation of 7,198 feet. Ooh. 38. The world's largest snowflake on record fell in Montana in 1887. It measured 15 inches wide and 8 inches thick. Is at some point, doesn't it stop being a snowflake and becomes a really nice-looking chunk of ice that fell yeah. from the sky? 39. The United States has the most airports. 
40. The first drive-in movie theater in the world opened in New Jersey in 1933. Wow. 41. The first person to receive a social security check was Ida Mae Fuller, who received $22.54 on January 31st, 1940. 42. The first ever televised presidential debate was between John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon in 1960. 43. The U.S. rail network is comprised of nearly 140,000 miles of track and over 100,000 bridges. 44. Paul Geidel Jr. He served the longest prison sentence of any inmate in the United States. 68 years, 257 days. Now, there's do? another guy that spent more time in prison, but he had been out on parole for a few years, so Geidel spent his time continuously, even refusing to leave at one point. Yeah, they oh, gave man. him parole, and he refused to leave. He stayed an additional six years, then finally left to a nursing home. 45, the first automobile accident in the United States occurred in New York City in 1891. 46, the Louisiana Purchase, in which the U.S. bought vast amounts of land from France, costs only three cents an acre. 47, Whoa. Yuma, Arizona's high school team is called the Criminals. The school was established in 1909. Yuma High's mascot came in when the original school building was destroyed by fire in 1910. The school then used the Yuma Territorial Prison, which had been closed for the next three years. Classes were actually held in the cell blocks, oh and God. assemblies took place in the prison hospital. Because of this, and the fact that a Phoenix newspaper one time called them a bunch of criminals because they thought they cheated in a football game, the name stuck. 48, the U.S. has the highest rate of opioid addiction in the world. 49, in 1893, there were only two cars in the state of Kentucky. They had a head-on collision. And number 50, the United States has the highest rate of teenage pregnancy among developed countries. I brought that up in a video a few years back, and some guy argued it was because of bikinis. Yes, teenagers swimwear is getting them pregnant. Uh, we have bikinis oh. in Europe too. Just there toward the end, the opioid addiction one is interesting because I got opioids when I had knee surgery last year and did not like them. They made me violently ill. I get though, like different people have different reactions to stuff, but for me, opioids were not the thing. There are lots of other things I could get hooked on. Chocolate, I'm with you guys. I did not know you were the highest consumers of chocolate in the world. You'd think that would be like Switzerland or somewhere like chocolate. I'm like an American when it comes to chocolate. Yum, 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 give it to me all. There were like some facts in there that I was like, I didn't know for a fact the fact, but then when you said them, they made sense. Very good video. Thank you so much to the world according to Brainstorm. I learned lots of stuff and things.